are you ready for another UK Maths Challenge Junior Challenge? Well, with permission from the UKMT, I'm going to go through a question here. And as always, you might want to have a go first yourself and see if you get the same answer as I get. The question is quite simple, but deceptively complex. How many of the statements in the box are true? Is it zero, one, two, three, or four statements? Let's have a look through one by one. None of these statements is true. Now, what I'm thinking about that is how can that be true? Because if none of the statements are true, that means not even that statement is true. And if that statement's not true, then it's simply not true. So it can't be that none of these statements is true because that would include this statement. It's like if I said, what I'm saying now is a lie. And it gets quite complicated because if you think about it, that means what I'm saying now isn't a lie because I was lying. Okay, rather than get our head wrapped around that too much, suffice to say that if it can't be none of these statements are true, because then that statement itself is not true. So it's not that one. It's not going to be zero, I don't think. Exactly one of these statements is true. Okay, well, if only one of the statements is true, that means that statement itself must be the only one that's true. Because if one of them's true, then that statement there would be correct. Exactly one of these statements is true. But let's check if the other statements would also fit into that. Exactly two of these statements are true. Well, that would be false if it was exactly one. So, so far it's right. None of these statements is true. Well, that would be false with this statement. And all of these statements are true. That would also be false. So only one of the statements would be true, which is the statement itself. So that kind of holds up. It could be one. How about exactly two of these statements are true? Well, if two of them are true, then again, itself would have to be at least one of them. With all of these statements, if they're correct, that means the statement itself has to be one of them. That's why we knew it wasn't zero. So if, if exactly two of these statements are true, is correct, then there has to be one other statement which is also true. But we've already seen that none of them is true, can't be right. We've seen that exactly one of these statements in, is true. Well, that wouldn't fit in with this because how can it be that one of them is true and yet exactly two of them are true? It's contradictory. And if all of these are true, that would be more than two. So exactly two of these statements are true can't work. He's got no partner. If it was true, it would need a partner to go with that was also true. But it doesn't have a partner. Same thing for all of these statements are true. It would mean that all these top three must also be true. And yet, how can it be that exactly two and or exactly one or none are all correct? It can't be. So the only one that makes sense is if exactly one of these statements is true. And which statement is true? The statement itself, that exactly one is true. It's saying that none of these statements is true, is incorrect. Exactly two of these statements are true, is incorrect. And all of these statements are true, is incorrect. So it's exactly one of these statements is true. Now that's the kind of slow process of logic that I find really interesting and can unlock many different secrets hidden within the complexities of words.